Walking through the jungle. What do you see? I think I see a lion. Chasing after me. Floating on the ocean. What do you see? I think I see a whale. Chasing after me. Climbing in the mountain. What do you see? I think I see a wolf. Chasing after me. Swimming in the river. What do you see? I think I see a crocodile. Chasing after me. Trekking in the desert. What do you see? I think I see a snake. Chasing after me. Slipping on the iceberg. What do you see? I think I see a polar bear. Chasing after me. Running home for supper. Where have you been? I've been around the world and back. I've been around the world and back. And guess what I've seen? And guess what I've seen? Hi everyone, it's uh, Mr. Puddock here again. Um, I've got a brand new story for you today, um, and this story is called Walter's Wonderful Web. Um, and this is a really good book by Tim Hopgood, and it's all about shapes. So let's have a little read. <clears throat> Walter wished he could spin a perfect web just like 
his friends. But Walter's webs weren't perfect. They were wibbly wobbly. And when the wind blows, wibbly wobbly webs always blow away. But Walter was determined. So one morning, he decided to start with something simple. Very carefully, he made a small web in the shape of... Do you know what it is? Yeah, a triangle. But whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter started again. This time he made a bigger web in the shape of a... Does anyone know what shape that is? Yeah, square. But whoosh went the web and it blew the web away. Walter sighed and started again. And this time he made a larger web in the shape of a... Does anyone know what shape that is? Yeah, the shape of a rectangle. But whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed. <sighs> Then he stretched his legs and made a taller web in the shape of a... Does anyone know what this shape is? Yeah, a diamond. But whoosh, whoosh went the wind and it blew that web away too. Perhaps my web should be more round, thought Walter. So he climbed up. And down, he twisted and twirled. Would this be Walter's first perfect web? Nearly, it wasn't a perfect web, but it was an almost perfect. Do you know what shape that is? Circle, yeah. And it looked strong. But. Whoosh, 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 went the wind, and poor Walter hit the ground with a bump. Walter was tired and upset. He felt like giving up, but as the sun went down, he thought about all the different shapes he had made. All at once, he knew just what to do, so he took a deep breath and set to work. Whoosh! Went the wind. But it didn't stop Walter or his web. Not this time. And as the stars came out, Walter's web shone in the moonlight. Do you want to have a look at his web? Wow! It was better than perfect. It was a truly wonderful web. The end. Right, I hope you enjoyed that story. That was Walter's Wonderful Web, um, all about shapes. Um, at the back of this book as well, it's got a picture of the basic shapes, and it's got some questions as well about how many sides does a rectangle have, how many sides does a triangle have. Um, so I was having to think about what activities you could do at home. Um, and you could make your own spider's webs, so you just need some string, okay? Any bit of string or lace you've got around your house and you can make your own little webs and you can make a special web like Walter or you can make the different shapes. Um, so I had a go this morning and I've made some shapes. I've made a circle, a square and a triangle. Um, so you could do that at home. Um, and the next thing that you could do is you could go outside into your garden or get into a park and you could have a look and see if you could find any spider's webs. I found one on my fence this morning and there was a creepy little spider on the fence. Um, so there's two activities for you to do today. Um, right, I hope you enjoyed the story and I'll see you tomorrow uh, for the next story. Bye. <laughs>